butt, shake a booty butt, shake a booty butt, booty 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 butt. Come on, help Karen, make it rain on her. Help make it rain on Karen, you know her rent is late. Somebody, anybody got a chance for a one? Make it rain on Karen. I got a chance for a five. I need two dollar bills. Two one, two two dollar bills and a one. That's it, that's it, that's it. I can guarantee you, if Karen Jackson is her real name, I can guarantee you she is exactly who I am talking about in this video. Highway to the Danger Zone. How many of you guys are familiar with this, this oldie but goodie from the 1980s? How many of you guys are familiar with that from the 1980s? Come on, who can tell me the movie? From the, from the movie, 1980s, a 1980s classic, Kenny Loggins, on the track. And when it got good to him, he said this. Come on, Kenny. Sorry, guys. Pick up. What's going on with the computer, man? All right, we'll build it while we fly it. Come on, Goose. What's going on, Mace? There we go. All right, the danger zone. What is the danger zone? Top gun, see over here, high value men could be considered to be top guns. See, anybody can fly a jet. You know, you can fly a jet in the Navy or in the Air Force. I mean, I think all branches have their version of, uh, of, of, helic uh, of aircraft. But in order to fly the premium aircraft, in order to do air-to-air -air combat, to get out there on the edge and actually take people down, you had to go to Top Gun Academy. This is where the best of the best of the best went. Well, guess what? You over here at Top Gun Academy. This is where men who were high, high earners, not rich yet, guys who want to be successful, top 10% guys on the way to being a top 5% guy, Blake or Blue Henry, Bradley, Ahmed, Keith, and Inke, Blake Henry, white collar, Blue Henry, blue collar brothers, business owners, enterprising kind of brothers, ambitious, entrepreneurial, or the guys who can see either path. These are good, I call the hit squad. Henry's in training at the end of the day. These are the guys who will be considered the top guns. And in order to be a top gun man, what happens in the movie Top Gun? They always they had the they had the the local bar where they would run all the game on women. But they're all anytime you have elite or powerful men, beautiful women are always going to be around. And the funny thing is, we know these things, but sad, but strangely enough, today. Many women are saying that, you know what, they're, many women, especially black women, are putting off marriage. They're putting off marriage in favor of college, career, these kind of things. And they're waiting till they're in their like 30s, late 20s or 30s, before they even decide they want to start looking for a husband, as if you can do that. There's a, over here, I do things a little different. When I do the, how do you rank yourself from one to 10? You can't use seven. And over here, we talk about, you know, the wall. The wall is a woman's sexual, uh, a, 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 as, the, as the age at which high risk pregnancy begins for most women. That's age 35. When it gets right down to it, between the ages of 27 
and 35 is what I consider to be the danger zone. The danger zone is that time in life where a lot of women, the light comes on and it's like, okay, I went to college. I've had my fun. I've been out for five or six years and I've seen all my white colleagues and my Asian colleagues get married. Now it's like, I'm ready to settle down and go find me a Henry. I want to all of a sudden, you know, become a, 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 a stay at home wife to where I don't ever have to work, you know, or I'll work, you know, from home in my husband's business and, you know, all these fanciful notions, which is cool. If that's what you want. But why is the tight age between 27 and 35, the danger zone? Well, let's get into it. It's the danger zone for several reasons. One, you're reaching the age to where you're too old. Now, you may still be a young woman at 33. But when it comes to the marriage market, make no mistake, you're an old woman. You're a young woman for the world, but you're an old woman for the marriage market. And like anything else, men and women alike, the older we get, the less likely or the harder or the more impervious we are to change. Okay? To your older woman for the marriage market, you're more impervious to change. And now the sense of urgency is at a height. It's like all of a sudden you've slept. You've been sleepwalking through life. And now all of a sudden you want to find a husband like next week. But you have not been, but the last, let's say you're 33, but the last 10 years of your life has not been spent being prepared to be a wife. Now, how do we, let me, let me, let me just break it in like this. There are a lot of, uh, uh, I can show you better than I can tell you. I, I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay. Let's do it this way. Brittany, how are you? All right. Well, I'm going to play a clip. and We're going to get into it. I'm going to open the call line because this is not a bad session. I talk to the women who are in this danger zone kind of area. And let's see if you can either be like Maverick and turn it around or whether you're going to be like Goose. In Top Gun, if you didn't make it, they called it washing out. How many women in the danger zone are going to wash out? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What do you have for me? Uh, so I do think that we, as a, as a people, like to change. Um, although I think that as a whole, we probably have issues with confronting being different from the crowd. And when you start mean, to change... Meaning what? What do you mean different from the crowd? I think I just kind of found that most of the time when you're wanting to change, you're usually inspired by your direct surroundings. Okay. Which means you're looking around at people and you're saying, I don't want to be like you. I want to be different from what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing. And so if we were changing mm -hmm. to kind of join the crowd it'd be a lot easier, but oftentimes we're kind of moving away from things that we know and that we're used to. And so I think that there's just some insecurity and in, am I doing the right thing? There's a lot of people who are going to tell you that you're not and you're kind of on your own until you find your new group and then you realize, oh, okay, I'm in my lane. So how's that working? In, so um, how old are you? I'm 33. So perfect spot, 27 to 35. I call that the danger zone. <laughs> the danger zone. The danger zone. It's the age where a lot of college educated and or working independent career women start to realize, uh, I don't have a husband yet and it's not working. 
And there's a pattern. I have a video called Over 30, Attractive, and Single AF. Similar thing, talking about the higher up a woman goes, the more money she makes, the more degrees, these kind of things, the more difficult it becomes to find a, a man on her level. Now, over here, guys are <laughs> already raising their hand saying, we want to be in the top 10% of men. There's no dust over here. So you can't use that argument like everybody else. I don't deal with average over here. I deal with guys who want to be above average. And I want you to hear what so many women in the danger zone. Imagine if you were a man between 27 and 35 and you had to go through these kind of. Just listen, just listen. No, I agree. I, the danger zone. It's the, it's the years between, uh, before 35, which is where high risk pregnancy starts. Are you married or have you been married? No. Uh, do you, Not yet. Do you, do you want to be married? Yes. Are you in, in a serious relationship now? No, I'm newly single. I'm like six months out. Okay. And how long was your, how long was your previous relationship? About four years. Oh. And he was about 10 years older. Okay. Put on a pile of coffee. Let's go to work. Yeah. All right. So t tell me, I I'm curious. I'm really curious. Okay. You were with a guy that was 10 years older for mm -hmm. four years. Yeah. Um, you can't know what you did not know at the beginning. Oh, come on. You know what? Let's do it this way. Build it while we fly it, baby. Build it while we fly it. Can't know what you did not know then. Are oh, we having internet problems over this? It's rainy out here, guys, so. Um, what? Did when you started? Um, I was boyfriend minded, which sounds kind of weird, but keep no, in mind doesn't. I was kind of young. No, it okay. doesn't. Okay. I was, I was set on finding a relationship. I felt that'd be the first step. Right. And, and you know, I had to kind of get that out the way and get a, somebody mm -hmm. who wasn't going to be like a, a toxic person. Mm -hmm. Um, I just saw a lot of people who were coming in out of relationships and they were so damaged and it takes mm -hmm. years to bounce back and lose the weight so, and all that but stuff. But you went to college though, right? No, I, okay. I stopped halfway through. Okay. So I have an AA and then I stopped halfway through. Right. I'm you're, a realtor. You're a real, okay. You're a realtor. So you've been in, in your career for Los how Angeles. long? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a brand new realtor. Okay. Uh, just since. Again, I want you guys to listen just to. So I'm 33. And just the. Oh, look at it. I mean, it's like, really? It's January. Okay, so what I'm trying to see is if, like in corporate America, mm -hmm. one of the things I noticed after college is all of the white people, the non-black people started to get married from 23 to 27. They were going to weddings. I mean, I, I mean, it was ridiculous. In the mm -hmm. office I worked in, one woman went to seven weddings in one season. Seven. Right. And that's where the always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Now, I want to pause here. How many black women know you worked in an in office environment where you've seen when it's spring and summer, you've seen women always going to weddings, wedding after wedding after wedding after wedding, to the point to where you're like, what's going on? And I'm like, what are you, I, I'm trying to understand what a lot of women think when they see this, but they don't see black women going to get married in their 20s. But it's like a newsflash to black men and black women that most folks get married early on. I, right. That ain't what you hear in black America because what I noticed is black women were not going. I worked for a large company and I'm seeing all these average looking white women 
going to wedding and they were and I and here's you know what I heard Brittany I heard one woman say I'm this is me I am broke I don't know what's going on on that phone over there but we're gonna get to it It's like every weekend I'm going to a wedding. I got to go to San Antonio for this. I got to go. Because you have to buy the dress and this and that. And, I, and it was fascinating to me that I'm like, that these women felt compelled to have to go spend full $500 to attend a friend's wedding. But then the sisters was just out kicking it. So the pressure was uh, on white women in this office to get married because by age 30, everybody was married up. So when you say you were boyfriend minded at 29, it makes sense because I don't think a lot of black women really see themselves being married until later in life. No, and my parents are still together, but they had me very, very early. And a lot of my friends and cousins the same. Mm -hmm. So I think that there was maybe a little bit more encouragement for us to wait and be young and have your own apartment and things like that, right. that I didn't get to have because I got married so young. Okay. So, so okay so you were with your boyfriend for f four years and when you got into it you were boyfriend minded at what point is was there a point where you wanted it to go further and he didn't no okay. <laughs> opposite okay. he wanted it to go further and you didn't he that's yes in the present tense yes but okay. i i'm not i don't think that's going to be my choice i'm confused okay so you y'all were together four years, and he wanted to marry. He was talking about getting married, but you didn't want. But you didn't want to marry him. Uh, yes, I, we were together for four years, and I think that's something that he would want to do. But I don't think he is. Uh, I think he's more wedding minded than marriage minded, and mm -hmm. so I'm just making a decision to okay. seek a better. Has he asked you to? Has he? Has he ha, okay. Um, has no, he, he has not asked me to marry him. No, has he brought up the subject you. to you? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you say equally yoked, when you, what do you mean? Um. Well, I kind of had a. I just had family, like my parents and my my mom, and kind of pull me to the side and say, "Listen, you know." Are you talking about money? This, uh, yeah. He was did all right with money. I just don't think he just he. I think I had a very kind of stable, sheltered, kind of a upbringing okay and i so i think i may have certain expectations for just kind of a traditional just the way that a traditional marriage goes and family goes and he did not have that and so i just okay didn't let me, think let me I was let, okay be. okay so four years you notice the more you talk the more you start to realize there's always something with the men and then you wake up and it's like well But now I want to be a stay-at-home wife and da 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 da. But if you've had men, when do you ever start to look and say, huh, maybe it's not the guys? I mean, again, I want people to pay attention. This is a woman who's who said that she didn't want to be with him because, you know, basically, if you let her talk long enough, he wasn't on her level start talking about serious stuff mm -hmm. was it was his mother and father married no i i don't think he knows his father all right so really? but you were with him for four years and during some of the best years some of the most most uh not best years some of the prime most crit years. critical years prime years were already you were already <laughs> 28 or 29 by the time you were with him prime has already passed you're in oh, the okay. critical years the, the she's in the critical years in the where are we at, man? Why are you telling me what I need to do, dude? Kevin needs to leave this knowledge with a few select black men. Teach us. No. You, I ain't, you pay me, dude. Tell me what I need to do. I love when you Negroes come over and tell me what I need to do. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? She has thought she was in her prime years. 
No, they're not in their prime years. You're in your critical years. you in the danger zone. Uh, why did I stop this? I stopped it because we got 1,400 people watching, and we only have, we got less than 500 likes and uh, nothing in the donations. I'll be, I, I will shut this joker off. No, that ain't how we do it. Then I got somebody telling me what I need to do. I need to stop talking to this, and I need to do that. Let me tell you something, men. You don't tell me that I need to do anything. Men show their work. I find it offensive when you type telling me something I need to do and it's now followed by a dollar. So here's what we're going to do. Until we get these likes up, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break and we are going to uh, get the money up because, uh, yeah, y'all know how this works. That gum song. Where's that song at? Luna. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. Money work. Make it rain up in this. Thing. Get them likes up. Get them likes up. Going on, sugar pea. They think I'm playing. Money work, corazón, de corazón. La plata no te hace ser feliz. Ella de corazón, de corazón. La plata no te hace ser feliz. Money work. See, it's funny when you start talking about people where they should be in life, where they want to get to. Just like we had people yesterday, all worried about stuff outside of them. I was Kevin married, and Kevin is doing fine. Answer the question yourself. Where did that lady go? I guarantee you, all the people who come in here asking the questions. There ain't nowhere close or closer to the caller than to success. And I'm just using her as an avatar. The years where you can't afford to waste time. So what I'm trying to figure right. out is I'm hearing you say that basically the way you're sounding is 
he was cool to be a boyfriend, but he's not husband material because they're not equally yoked. And I'm trying to understand, is it a money thing? Uh, what does that yoked mean? That's broad with women. Did he I make enough more, money? Did he make it on so, so let me, okay. Did he make enough money for you to be married to him? Not, it wasn't a consistent, it wasn't consistent. Not something you want to bring a child into. Okay. So, <laughs> so and lifestyle is a result of his income. Okay. So he made enough money to be a boyfriend, but not husband. Yeah, probably something I would have mentioned is that because I was in such a, a unique part of my life, going from my 20s to my 30s, I had changed careers, bumped up like 30,000 in salary. Like so many different things had happened to me <laughs> oh, in that time frame that uh -huh. I was kind of like, oh, uh -huh. now I understand. So basically, when you were when you were in the middle, it was, was okay. But then, but then when you start making more money, then all of a sudden he didn't look as good. Well, no, he still made more than me. So it wasn't that. It was more of like, hey, let I, you know, Wait, so that you, would make more money. Do you okay, want to get a house? Okay, does he make more than you now? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, now? No. Okay, when you were together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not understanding. Okay, <laughs> it's how so, you want to spend the money. It's how you want no, to set up your life. Well, but you don't get to spend anybody's money until you marry. See, what she just told on herself. See... When she was in her twinkling 20s, it was just fine. But all it took was $30,000 for this chick to decide the guy that she was opening her legs to, kicking it with, wasn't marriage of material. Right. Why? Because she's... Cause she's in the goddamn danger zone. Now she's curious. Four years, 29 to 33, and you're with somebody who was not marriage material, but you're laying down running the risk of getting pregnant. None of this stuff makes sense. Or does it? But that's when your uh, husband, okay. Why spend four years with a guy if you want to have, if you want to get married? Well, I think in the beginning, I thought I had enough time to decide. And then I think I had to kind of... She thought she had enough time to decide. Again, 29 years old, when you know all, all these other folks around the country getting married in their early 20s. Had enough time to decide. Always the thing with our sisters. No, you don't have enough time. Stop. You're out of time to, you know, him saying that it was the right path. I, it took a while for me to kind of just follow my instincts. It's probably the short way to So do it. you want to be a stay at home wife or do you want to work? I like to be able to stay with my kids when they're young enough to avoid daycare, but I probably would always still be a realtor on the side and make money. So you want to be a stay at home wife? Temporarily, at least. How many Maybe not you, permanently. How many, how many children do you want to have? Um, I'm going to be very realistic now. I'm an only child. Now. Two, uh -huh. I can get, if I can get it. Let me stop you right there. Have you had therapy? No, I haven't had therapy. You need well, it. You I, need it. I have a no, good no, you need it. <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm an only child. I know of uh, what I speak. That's why I'm sitting here listening to you. I'm like, there's something more going on in this. Only I have that term, but I only know if that is like what being spoiled or yeah, I don't know spoiled, what that Spoiled, selfish, adult. unrealistic. Spoiled, selfish, unrealistic, inability to play well with others, lack of lack of ability to make and or sustain lasting relationships, leaning towards narcissism, leaning towards the dark triad of personality traits. Yeah, we're fucked up. I have to look into that. Well, I'm, well, I'm telling you. But I, I do. I, I will tell I you. Do actively, I actively, you know. Here's the thing. It's not a. It's not a. It's not. A, it's not for sure. Being an only child, we grow up sooner than we have to. We tend to be more precocious. Uh, yes. but we're very spoiled. It, unless you do things early on, like early on in life, I started doing things outside of myself, volunteering and things like that. Uh, because my father's side of the family, 
happen. As long long story, I have a nice amount of balance, but still, mm. all my friends who are only children uh, never marry. So when I'm listening to oh. you talk about a guy that you dated for four years, and it's almost as though you're you're talking about him as though you were here and he was there, but he's making more money than you. Um, you don't have a college degree. You did have a major bump, but he's still out earning you. And I'm asking why stay in a relationship so long if you knew you wanted to be married and have children? Well, yeah, I think I kind of was so focused on getting the first thing complete. And then I'll be honest, uh -huh. um, once I hit 30, I started to hear a lot of women tell me, hey, you know, be careful before you- Were these women married? Gonna... Again, how do they do it? It's always black women. They got to get this list of stuff. I got to do this first and do that first. And then I started getting older and I started hearing a lot of women start saying this stuff. These women married? No. Are they going to help you get what you want? No. No. This is what a lot of our sisters hear. We, people, were these women married? Uh, I mean, at different points in their life, but no, no. Right, so they My were, mom is excluded from that. So, so, <laughs> so your mother and your father are married? Yes, mm -hmm. they're 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 happily married now, and they weren't really the ones saying. Okay, and they've been married for how long? Uh, they've been together since they were teen, married since I was six, but they've always been together. They just uh, okay. were really really young. So, you had good role model. Mm hmm. So, at thirty three, you want to have two children. Um, would you to be a wife? Um, I think. What do you mean? Do you mean in what sense? Like That's financially? Not, it's not a trick question, man. Um, holistically, I I don't know because I don't know what to expect. I mean, I would think I'm as I think I'm ready. Your to mother try, was a but... wife. Your mother was a wife. I said basically, I asked her was she ready to be a wife, and then she came out and went holistically. Look, you're 33. You want to be married, but yet you've had. A four-year relationship to where all you was worried about was boyfriend. And then as it comes out, you had another long-term relationship. I'm going to let this continue to play because these you can plug and put these avatars of these kind of behaviors in with so many women. They're in this zone to where all of a sudden life is collapsing on them and they're looking for answers. They're looking for the they think they're doing, they're, I, 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 now I'm ready. Uh, you're in the danger zone. Right. Are you ready to be your mother? Yeah, I could, yeah, because I'm a lot like my mom. Does she work? <laughs> mm -hmm, she has works and she has her own business. Okay. And was your, so, uh, so was your father, who, who made the final decision in your family? Was your mother or your father? Like just in the household? Period. Um, my my dad made the final decision, but he's not. He cares about the, the women in his family's opinions very much. So we got to talk and give our opinions quite a bit, but he made the final decision. So if you needed to get something done, would you get your mom to do it or would you get your dad to do it? Depends on what it is. So my dad's more laid back. So it depends on. So if, if your, I need so that. let me just go ahead and cut to the chase. Your dad did not make the final decision. Your mother made the final decision. I can tell by the way you answered the question. I'm sitting here just shaking my head because, <laughs> ma'am. Well, can you give me an example of what a final decision? Yeah, meaning that if your father, if you came from a strong uh, household where you had a strong leader father, that question would have been no nuance. Like when I ask you questions, there's all this hedging and, and kind of sort of, well, holistic. No, that's not the product of a strong father. That's the product of a more passive or beta father and a stronger mother. Just like your dominant kind of personality is the result of a dominant female and a weaker male. You know what it is? My, uh, yeah, I'm I do a know what lot it is. more dominant I do know what than it my is. mom. I do my know. mom is very feminine, but uh -huh. the thing about it is I definitely took out. Her mom is very feminine. How many people believe that? I'm going to say your mom's very feminine, ma'am. You, she may have wore dresses. It may not have cursed. But no, 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 no. Uh, 
the men in my family. So and my did your mom father? Says that so when? So what did your father think about your ex boyfriend? I think he he liked how he liked him, but he does not. I don't think he thought that that was ideal for me. So okay. we would talk about it. So a lot. before your ex boyfriend, so four years, you don't know exactly what your father thought of. No, no, I do. I think that he he liked him as a person, as an individual. Like there was nothing that was wrong. The question with him. is, how did your father think about him for you? He didn't think it was the ideal relationship for me, all but right. he liked the all, guy. All right, that. all right. And then what about the relationship before that one? What's the longest relationship you had before that one? Here we uh, go. Maybe two years. Okay. And, and that was when I was a little younger, and I don't really remember involving my parents much. I was like probably 23. Okay. And then what about before that? Uh, when I was younger. Understand most people are getting married around this age, but to a lot of black people, 20 to 23 is just so young. Pay attention. Uh, eh, nothing that would call serious. So, just like you so you were 23 with the previous relationship, 23 to 25? No, what? actually, no, actually I wasn't. I was 20 to 23, I think. So 20 to 23, yeah, that's three I was years. Okay, 20 to 23. So you had a three-year relationship and a four-year relationship. Yeah, because I turned okay, 21 so, in that so, relationship. So listen, so listen. So this is what I'm about to say. You didn't involve your family in that three-year relationship. No. That's that why smart. your father was not a dominant man. There's no way a 20-year-old woman should be in a three-year relationship at 20 years old and her family ain't involved in none of this stuff. Then you turn around, listen, then you turn around at 29 and you live a four year or 28 and have a four year relationship. You've had two long term relationships. That is that is part of that only child thing. The the keeping it to yourself or the the length um, of time. Well, number one, several things, ma'am, several things. But. This unfortunately, this happens to a lot of black women, only child or not. It's not uncommon to hear black women in their early, in their mid thirties, who've had several suitable men. There's no way you can be with somebody for three years if he's not suitable. Well, there's no way you can be with somebody for three years if they're not suitable. You may, you may want to go back and revise history, but this ain't my first rodeo. And what I'm saying is, well, yeah. And the thing is, if don't count my first one though that wasn't so i'm counting your first one it was three years some of the things that you notice with women that are, things you notice about women who are in the danger zone they're combative they're argumentative they have a need to be right they over talk you and in general they are too old to mold too old to mold Shout out to Mr. Jap. That's he is too old to mold. You're going to notice this start to rear its head more and more. And if you go back through my catalog, if you listen to women who are 27 to roughly 37, but 27, 35 for the day in the danger zone, plug and play. Wasn't suitable. But Take you, my word for that. But I learned and then I decided like, hey, you know, so, okay. let me get into something. That's okay, a you've learned. Bit more... let me, okay, you've learned that. Let me challenge that. You've learned, right? Well, I learned from the first one to the second one uh -huh. to go to try to be. Uh -huh. I just kind of continued to try to uh -huh. hone so in. So you've on had a three year qualities. and a four year. But you still, yeah, so now but, I'm, but you're now still I'm in charge, and... but you're still in charge of who you're going to date the next time. And you still have right. had no therapy. I'm considering it because my friend's having a lot of uh, considering it positivity with it, and I don't You're used still, to want to be a okay, psychologist. Considering it, kid. considering it means no. No, no, I would. I actually listen, would. Brit, I think... Brit, Brit, Brittany. Listen, nobody sees your picture. No one sees your face. But what I'm saying is, you've been in charge of the last two long-term relationships that you picked men who were not suitable not on the level of being a provider, lifestyle, whatever you say, you've picked them with no input from any other man. You've listened to a bunch of other women who have no track record of success with men. And you're still in charge of this process. You have not gone to sit down with a counselor to understand what's going on with you because you keep picking these people. 
I'm telling you that you need therapy. That's not an insult. But you're no, 33, no, but you're 33 is. years old. You have no time to waste. If you want two children, even if you met the man tomorrow, why don't you have any time to waste? Why don't she have any time to waste? Because because she's in the danger zone. We don't have any time to waste. It would take six months before you're married. If you got pregnant on your wedding day, you may be kicking one kid out by age 34 and a, and a half or 35. Your second right. child would be high risk. Yeah. I, and if I, you don't want that, to, I tell my and if that. you don't, but you don't, but you're not talking like you're doing anything about it. And if you're in LA, the cost of living is not inexpensive. If you want to take off until their school age, what, till their kindergarten? Till they go to kindergarten or first grade, which one? No, I don't think I'll be. I don't think I'll be able to do first but grade. What, but what would you want? Maybe uh, like like maybe preschool. Preschool, which is what? So I think that's like three, three or four. <laughs> oh, preschool can be anything, but okay. Let's just say three or four. If you want to have two kids, that's still five years out of work. Yeah, that's still five years out of work in LA. So that means you're gonna need somebody in LA. It's gonna make it around two kids. 400 close to five hundred thousand dollars a year in la for you not to work for two years for five years what are the chances of you meeting a guy who's making three hundred thousand dollars a year in la uh well my i the family that i do know who stay home who are about my age they don't stay home and live that kind of a lifestyle they do a lot of couponing you know they they cut corners ma'am i have clients they, in, i have clients in la and i've thought about moving to la la the cost of living is on par with new york city it's expensive well i have family my okay, my, ma my but we're talking older, about she you and i moved to texas mm. i don't know so let's throw one more freaking thing into the fire see how you're all over the board let me think what you just said. I no, said, no. Uh, listen. It's just when you get to a certain age, you get a lot of opinions. No, I, well, how about this? You have, you, no, you've got a Why lot of Why do you get so many women. opinions? Why do they get so many opinions when you get to a certain age? Because. I'm in this jet wash. I'm in this jet wash. You're in the jet wash, ma'am. You're in the jet wash. Pull up. Pull up. How about yeah, this? Yeah. How, and that's the problem. That's why you're all over the place. You don't listen to your father because he's not going to point you in a, in a direction because he's just hands off. He's watched you drive your relationships into two, a three year and a five, a four year ditch. That's not what your father wants for you. But apparently he doesn't he's more, have. A, he's concerned with religion, so. Well, that's apparently, well, whatever thing, you know? he's not doing, he's not concerned with helping you. Maybe he knows that you ain't gonna listen to him. I think that's probably right. Well, I know because <laughs> you're a stubborn, bullheaded, only fucking child. <sighs> yeah, probably. I know. No, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I will. That's and that's another reason why you're point. by yourself. You're a pain. You will be a pain in the. You'll be a good girlfriend, but you'll be a horrible long-term wife because you're hard-headed. Time's running out for. This is what the therapy's for, man. See? Because that, I'm just running the numbers. I'm running the numbers. See, when you're in the danger zone, see that clock right there. Time's running out for you. And she talking and she arguing. And be, well, 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 maybe. No, 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 no. You acting like you got. All the time in the world, but well, coupons. They ain't no, they ain't enough fucking coupons to <laughs> cut to 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 bring down the cost of living in L.A. Well, move to Texas. So let me get this right. You're going to meet a, a guy who can have you stand at home and all of a sudden he's going to move to California to move from California, LA and have that job there. That makes no sense. No. Like if I, she was telling me I should come now that I'm who's she, I think, who's she, uh, the, my cousin who is a stay at home mom, but she lives in Texas. She who was telling she? me like, you're, 
your, your cousin is staying on mom remember. is in, okay, but she's he was saying LA is not the place. Let me, ask you, let me ask you something. Let me ask you a real a direct question. When you're talking to men in your life, in just day-to-day life, do you over-talk them? Depends on if I like them or not, I'll be honest. Is that... Is that romantically, no, not no, as no, much, no, no, not, not romantic. Day-to-day, yeah. How about this? Romantically? So how about this? How would you... Uh, honestly... Do you think that's rude? To overtalk? A man. Yes. I know they don't like it. What about it? What if a guy just. No, it's just, rude. What about it? What, but see, you can overtalk a woman because there's no threat of anything. See, in a state of nature, what happens when a female decides to get too aggressive or try to dominate a male? They, dom- they assert their dominance. Right. So only in this country have we, in this westernized world, have men been restricted to not knock the furniture out your mouth. When you continue <laughs> to overtalk a man, especially even on his show. I don't care if we were romantic or not. You're still trying to overtalk me to where I had to mute you. That's rude. But that is par for the course when you are Requesting a flyby. No, you're too old. The pattern's full. Oh, batch. You know it is. I'm sorry. Would you, would you do that with a white man? I don't know. I never thought about that. Really? Uh, probably. Really? So when you're at work, what do you work? You work for, you work as a real estate agent? Yeah, but I did work in corporate before. Uh-huh. So I was in that dynamic before. Right. But, so you but, overtalk white men that way too? That's what I was going to say. Strangely, everybody was, all of my managers except for women. I don't think I've ever had a man, oh, a male oh, okay. Again, manager. Again, and then your father sounds like he was very hands-off. I'm going to be polite. He's very hands-on, but I understand what you mean. Negative, Strag Rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> Negative, Strag. The pattern is full. Fly on over to Spinster Air Base. The pattern is full. As far as in certain areas of your life being How about this? You, how about this? Even you're still trying to be right. I don't care if the... Your whole headache. <laughs> whole headache. You ain't got to worry about being married, especially to a man that's going to be able to provide and let you stay at home the best you're gonna get is working if you get lucky and find a man don't nobody don't know man want to hear this and this is what i want to focus on for the ladies who are officially all up and through the danger zone you know you have not prioritized marriage you have wasted your prime years you're now in the danger zone Why do you feel like you should get a high value man? You are lucky to get a man. Shout out to Rebecca Lynn Pope. You're lucky to get a man. But yet you still think you should get a high value man and have the same negotiating and leverage you did did when you were a younger woman. But 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 no, you're... No! You can't do that when you're your age. You you ran the time out because you understand why that's not good enough for you because you look at your body and it's not what it was when it was 21. You know you don't bounce back. You are in your late 20s and early 27 is the beginning of the danger zone. Most of these women are in like 32, 33. Go back off my videos and listen to all these women, how hard they sound, how difficult they are to talk to. Most people would have put a bullet through, gone pew, pew, and got ghost, left, Long before most people are like, I don't know how you talk to them people because somebody needs to. And I have the patience. Most guys say they'd have been like, meep, meep. 
they would have been <laughs> they're like i'm not gonna talk to these women when i see somebody in the danger zone i am gone how old are you 32 peace matter of fact that's what got me in hot water with a lot of people when i just merely said i prefer to date women under 30 it was like oh oh why because this is what you get you get a lot of this I'm going to be honest. Don't nobody want to hear this. You think you got it all together? You want to tell me what your cousin who's married? I don't want to hear what some married woman. In no. Texas. I'm just trying to give you some perspective. I don't give a shit about your perspective. You don't. You can't even get your life going right. Why do I need to hear your perspective? Has it worked for you? How's that working for you? Well, that's what I'm, I'm that talking about. You? Me. How's that working for you? Hmm? What? How's your, how's your <laughs> perspective working? How's your, how's your perspective in trying to get me right on all the nuances? How's that working for you? Have you ever uh, well, dated a man? Have you ever dated a man who was a high earner, not rich? Yet? Have you ever dated a man who's well off, got his stuff together, knows where he's going, and in charge of his life? No. I wonder why. Well, by my standards, I, I think you would agree, though. I'm assuming you'd agree. Did you hear that? No, I've never, I've never dated a Henry by my standards, as if. As if by any standard you get them, then hmm. I said, I wonder why do you think a high earner, not rich yet would put up with this? Like me talking a lot, <laughs> not unless he's a uh... not talking a lot. Ooh. You being combative, uh, you wanting to be right on the argument. I don't, you just, you just that only is more than only child. We've gone far past only child. You've gone into typical black female fuckery, honestly. You've gone hey, smooth Lord. into it. There's a reason you're 33 and chronically unmarried. It's not because you're not attractive and can get a man to say, I will be seen in public with you. It's just you can't get a quality man. Uh, like finding some good examples to try to kind of get an idea of how they operate so you can kind of see like the differences like okay um why do you think that works examples yeah, finding why, examples why why not okay you're 33 you're not 23 you're acting like you got all the time in the world no no i don't think that so you're still trying to do it the slow way why here's a question has anyone, have you ever thought about going to sit down with a therapist? That's interesting. I actually thought I was doing it the fast way. That's the slow way. That was a question. Did you hear it? But I, I don't have a problem with therapy. I think it's there a was good a idea. question. So big head bean, the chick that joined my channel. Did you hear me ask her a question? Even after I brought it to her attention, Big head, see that that says the big head bean, big head bean. Did you hear when I brought it to her attention that you're over talking me? You cut me off. I'm trying to run a show. You're not stopping. When I ask you a question, you don't answer it. You notice that was like like ten minutes ago. You notice she's still doing it. Is that rude, big head bean? Being grim, fantastic for is that rude? I want to hear you say this woman has been rude. Because if you don't, ma'am, you are disingenuous. And at this point, I don't have to play nice with you. Because if all you hear is me being rude and you think there's nothing wrong with this, oh, get your big head up on here. And see, see, the polite thing to do is to answer a question and not answer it with another question. See, that's polite. Did you hear the question? Can you or, repeat it for me? Exactly. Or, or, or was what, or no, no. What did you think? That, what did you think I said? Why haven't I considered going to a therapist at this point at 33? I said, have you ever considered going to therapy? Yes. Uh, I no, have, no, I, I haven't, I haven't pulled the. No, guys, don't time her out. I want her to write everything she can in the chat room so I can dissect each and every one of them. Talk about a high value man disrespecting women. Keep letting her tie the noose around her big head neck. See, when you got a big head like that, 
It's hard for most people to put a noose around your neck so you think your neck is protected. Now, I got a big noose because I'm used to big heads like you. Keep talking, big head. Trigger, but why? maybe that's... Why? Is that the fast way? Why? Why haven't you pulled the trigger? Let me think about that for a second. Why haven't I pulled the trigger? Mm -hmm. I guess... I guess I just figured that's something you do when you get to a different stage in your life, like maybe when you want to be more reflective. So in other words, therapy's not a proactive thing. She's not reflective enough to look at any of this. You only do therapy if you're more reflective. What she's really saying is, ain't nothing wrong with me. That's what she's really saying. Only people who need to go to therapy are people who are crazy. Parse through the words, that's what she's saying. And unfortunately, that's why so many of our sisters feel this way, but then they look down to the reality of their left ring finger and it tells a different story. I never considered You mean when you get too old to do a... anything? You mean when you get too old and you fucked up too much to do anything about it? Well, maybe, yeah. I guess I always thought of therapy as something you do kind of to like unpack, you know? So, I never thought so of it as you a think you, So basically, you feel like you just normal and even killed and everything's a okay. Well, I think it depends on where I want to be. No, know? ma'am. That's a very simple question. It depends on where I want to be. Mm. See, when I ask you a very simple question, it always comes down to this. Well, it depends on where you want <clears throat> at 33 years old. Did you think you would be here? Unmarried? No prospects? That's a yes or no. Um, That's a yes or no. <laughs> I am an overthinker. That's a yes um, or a no. I no. That's a yes. I would say no. That's a no. No. <laughs> no. So if you're not where you thought you would be, is that not a problem? That's a yes or no question again. If you're not where you thought you'd be, is that a problem? Yes. Yeah, I, I would say so. All right. So if you had a destination, if you had a goal, a destination, and you said, we're going to get there by a certain time, and you look up and you're not anywhere, you're nowhere close to your goal. At what point- That's did, a problem. You're right. So you had a three-year relationship that you don't even want to count. That's a problem <laughs> that you don't even want to count that. You involved nobody else, and you went right, got jumped right back on the carousel and decided to ride and ride around again, and then pick somebody else who was 10 years older than you, and, wait, and took another four years and then jumped back off. Right, hmm. right. At what point do you realize that you're not the best picker of men? And maybe instead of trying to look at videos and just talking to this woman, talk to that woman, you need someone, some, just talk to somebody to get all these overthinking, overthinking things in your head out on paper. Because all this overthinking, because all this overthinking, it ain't done shit for you. Well, yeah, or at least it'll give me someone else to ramble to, right, before I go home. <laughs> well, you're not going to ramble. You're going to pay. Right. <laughs> that, no, that is true. Yeah, you're going to pay. That's what you need to because the people who will listen to this shit for free are either more Few screwed up between. or either more screwed up than you or extremely bored. But you don't have time to waste. See, I'm, I'm, I'm making light of it, ma'am. You're 33. You're going through life thinking this is fast no you got two years before your eggs is old she's 33 want to have two kids she like she got all time in the world this is a fast way this is a slow way I mean, when, no, I mean, well, just took a my two new year. plan, but you therapy, can't make a new plan with I'll old eggs, it. man. You got th two, seven, you got two relationships in seven years. That's a problem. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have had the next one. You should have figured something out, man. You should have involved somebody else. And that's why I said the other day, so many of our sisters are out here just making decisions on their own, not asking anybody, keeping the council of women and you pick poorly. I'm telling you right, right now, right, man, right. first thing. Uh, you're an only child. That is an, an issue in and of itself. Number one. Number two, you're over 30. You're 33. You have passed what is called the wall in dating. Dating and mating. Most women over 30 are too difficult 
to really adjust or change. There's a thing called too old to mold. It requires a woman over 30 to be proactive in changing. She's past mm. the age to where a guy can actually teach mold or help her. That's why guys your age go get younger women and skip right on over you except for Netflix and chill. So what you, are you saying that like, so if you're over, well, basically for me, you're saying if I need guidance, the best thing to do now would just be to get therapy, talk it out, maybe try to find somebody who understands what my goals are and maybe get a man. So they could be like, well, oh, I mean, I, I, let me, let me, answer, let me ask you a question. Or a male let me, let me ask you a question. Let me answer your question this way. How many men do you have to talk to about this? Just a few. How many? Maybe, let see, my. You who? I'm, maybe like that I would really talk to you about it. Just two, like my grandfather and then my dad. Probably would be it. <laughs> Holy shit. She said her father, your grandfather and your father. You didn't talk to your father. You got nobody to talk to. None. You talk to a bunch of women. So yes, let's get... yes, I do. Exactly. And that's why you're alone. Nature. And that's why you're alone. So to answer your own question, talking to a bunch of women has got me by myself. Yeah. So that's the first thing that should go is talking to women. So that's the first no, thing. No, ma'am. The first thing you need to do is realize you got a problem inside your head. And that's not a problem. <laughs> you need to sit down and talk to somebody. Black folks in this country, we need therapy like a mug. But you think you can figure this out on your own. Number one, I'll tell you what I tell my female clients. The reason I don't work with women as much anymore. Therapist, personal trainer, Image consultant, matchmaker. That's what you older women need. And you're an older woman when it comes to marriage. Let me make that clear. You're an older woman when it comes to marriage. You're not a young woman. I you're, see. So you're saying basically- You're an older when woman when it comes to marriage. You should have been married 10 years ago. So adopt a new plan like- There's a, no adopt a new plan older, either. Uh, see? You follow still, an older woman's okay, plan. Okay, ma'am. You don't, okay. Let me say this again. Let me ask you this question. When have you ever followed a man's lead? Uh, these are good questions because I've never heard them before. Exactly, because you hang out with a bunch of batches. <laughs> I follow, like, I'll follow a lead in a relationship, but... That was so rude. Oh, you mean you? The, the, to, oh, hold on, let me get this right. You'll follow the loser's lead. Well, that's yeah. That's what's going to your point. Once I start to feel like, oh, I don't think you're leading me right, then I will. Kind oh, of oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Or right, is it your nature role to lead? No. So how and do I you? Do know oh, that. so how do you know if he's leading you right? You didn't even let your father lead you. See, oh, well, this is why, this is why, that's what I'm trying, listen, that's late, why listen, okay, I'm going to go into the next call, ma'am, listening to you, realistically, um, this whole Mary stay at home, that's not, that's not going to happen. 72% of American women with children under 18 have to work full time. You're going to be right, in that, right, right. if you, one in three black, one in four black women get married. Okay. Right. Getting married would be astronomical right now for where you're coming from. You're all over the place. You're all over the place. And when I say you need therapy, you need therapy to get out of your own head. That just means to live a decent life. But to, to deal with a man? Whole different ball. Well, and, and, and the reality is, <laughs> if you're in L.A., LA is the land of men with money. If they aren't approaching you, there's a reason. I mean, if you had to rate yourself on a scale from one to 10 on looks, not your body, just your looks, and you can't use seven, what would you rank yourself? Just like, just average girl, regular girl. 
I don't know what the number scale would be. One, two, never... three, four, five. Six. An average girl. Thank you. I'm glad she at least did that. But why would an average anybody who would want to deal with this amount of issues? And the point is, why am I focusing on this? Because you're 33. When you're See, you're about the most intelligent group of women on the planet and strong and all. At what point do you self-reflect and realize it's not working? Not working. And here's the thing. I'm talking and talking and talking. She, was, she would not. I'm, I'm like, Jesus, did you ever want her to say, well, thank you for your time. I know you got other callers to get to. I want you guys to notice. How many times have you heard her say, thank you for your time? I know you got a show to run. Six, eight, nine, or ten. Jesus Christ. I don't know what the numbers mean. Just regular. Whatever. What's, no, what's no. regular? What's average? One, two. What number constitutes regular average? You are you, you went to school in the United States of America. You know what a zero to ten scale is. <laughs> I do, but not Pick when a, it comes to reading your look, your own personal looks. Are you an Are you? Are you? Like a what, five? Is five like five is right down the center? So is that? Would you rank yourself as five is right down eight? Like middle. Eight. Eight is pretty. Nine is beautiful. Ten is gorgeous. There is no seven because most women like you would rank yourself a seven. Right down the middle would be closer to your cutesy. But then again, how tall are you? I'm short. I'm only three. And, and what dress size do you wear? Just the four, which I think is kind of that average. Okay. All right. So right there, you're, you're a normal size woman, an average mm -hmm. looking woman. That means mm -hmm. you get average man making average money, living an average lifestyle. Yeah. That's rude. So I don't understand what you're talking about. That's this, good for me. Uh, but you don't but but the last guy you said he was making more money than you. Yeah, but it's, that wasn't the issue of the money. It was more of just the, I don't really think he was serious about wanting to get have kids and things like that. And obviously I don't have a lot of time. But listen, if you don't want to move to that range or you've changed your mind, well, then well, you know, I, I would say this. Cut uh, my losses, I guess. Here's here's where it comes down, ultimately down to. Um, I, I've tried to kind of go around it, but average. And that's not a bad thing. No. At 33 years old, you got a lot of things going on in your head. I mean, this conversation has been kind of like herding cats. I'm going to tell you right now, the guys who are like that high earner, go-getter, ambitious, purpose-driven, corp, they don't, they're not going to do all this with you. Okay. They're not going to. Men don't talk this much, typically. I, I have a show and I get paid to do this. But right. this is right. exhausting. And you and you're probably just having a high old good time, thinking this is just good fun, and it's fucking exhausting. Right. There's no amount of sex that you could give me after this to make this worthwhile. There's not a good enough meal that you could cook to make this worthwhile. <laughs> now I see what you're saying. And, and what I'm trying to say it in a, in a reasonable way possible is you have to be able to see your own outcomes and do something about it. And the way you're talking about doing this, I'm just gonna get information from a guy on youtube no but but you mean no yes that's what you did i'm just calling in on the change listen form. but but the point is I, I know man but we've gotten down a further path and everything that you that could actually help you and push the ball down the court you haven't done therapy no, I think consulting are... all right all right uh what would you like Can to I say? ask you one uh, question for advice? One last question for some advice pertaining to what you're saying. Okay. Because I just found your channel. That's why I even was Go ahead. kind of. So are you our image consultant? Is that what you do? Uh, uh, yes, but I also am a life coach and I also have advice. Now, if you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, yeah, but I don't do any matchmaking, anything like well, that. But I can help you with no, your no. overall well, so here's image. My, here's my question, because I've actually had this discussion with friends too. So in your opinion, would you... Do you think it's better for people to get life coaches or go to therapists, like both. psychologists or both. counselors? Both. Both? I, I don't know. At yeah, the same both. time? It, it, I, look, therapists help you with clinical issues. 
I don't know if, if you're clinically depressed and I mean, mm -mm. you have, ex you don't know either. <laughs> stop, saying, stop saying, stop saying, uh-uh. Stop it. You don't know. You just go find out what's going on with you. But life coaches and that kind of stuff, that's a completely different thing than clinical therapy. But what I will tell you, you got a lot of shit going on. It's exhausting. I'm sorry. And what I'm, but, but that's the point. You got to interact with other people and see one thing about only children. We tend to not learn how to play with others because we only, didn't have anybody. Only children's social skills tend to suck. Can I ask how you learned? Did you? H freaking Christ.